Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking NBC logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is the logo created inside PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this NBC logo pasted in. And we want to start with those like uh, drop shapes. If I insert a new shape, you can see there is this uh, shape which kind of uh, looks the same or similar. It's called teardrop. But there is a problem with this shape. If I draw it like this, you can see it's already drawn in like 45 degree angle. So we have to first rotate it like this. And then, you know, I cannot just resize it, you know, it just keep resizing to weird shapes just because it was already uh, rotated by 45 degrees. There is one trick I can use. I can draw any shape, like maybe a rectangle over the shape without any rotation. And if I select this uh, new rectangle and the old shape and I merge those shapes together using the union tool the you know, selection handles will get res uh, you know, reset so I can now resize this shape but still it kind of look uh, quite different from what we want to achieve so maybe instead of using predefined shapes I will just create my custom shape starting with the ellipse before I do that I want to have one of those shapes being like unrotated because as you can see all those shapes are right now being rotated so what I will do is I will draw maybe a helper line so I will insert a shape being the line and I will draw it with the shift key being pressed on my keyboard just so it's a straight line and I will maybe draw an ellipse or oval actually a circle because I'm holding the shift key on my keyboard which kind of fills one of those shapes then I will select this uh, circle and the line together with the shift key and select the uh, align align center so it's center aligned right now and I will probably increase the transparency for the fill just a little bit just so I can see what's below now what I want to achieve is to rotate the logo in a way that the circle is inside the shape while the tip is still over the line so I, I sh should have rotated it a little bit more maybe like this and I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to make sure you know everything is aligned properly so maybe just a little bit more to the right and then you may be asking why I'm not using you know the numeric input if I right click and select the form appear size and position I can insert the rotation in degrees in here the problem is it requires to be the integer number I cannot insert like 7.3 Free, for example you know it would stick to seven while when I'm rotating using this handle it can you know being rotated to any value which is which is kind of strange but that's the way how it is so I'm pretty satisfied with how I did uh, rotated my image so right now I can start creating my custom shapes I will maybe hide the ribbon by double clicking on it just so it's not getting in our way and I have a little bit more space or room to breathe and I will select the circle right click and select edit points what I want to do is to move the bottom point more to the bottom you know over the tip like this and when I've moved it it kind of ruined the layout a little bit that's what usually happens if I select this point you can see the handles should look like this if I select this one you can see the handles are a little bit bigger so I probably should make it smaller so it it's kind of matching the circle on top for the bottom part or for the bottom point if I start messing with the handles you can see that both handles are being adjusted at the same time which is not what I want so I will right click on this point and select the corner point it's probably not visible in this video so I will zoom uh, I will move below right click and select corner point so when I've select corner point now I can move the handles individual so I will move it like this so it's pointing to the tip and on top you can see maybe I'll make this hand a little bit smaller so I'm pressing the control key on my keyboard just so I'm use, I'm moving only one of those handles and I may do the same in here but overall I'm very satisfied with the shape if I move it to the right side I kind of like how smooth this shape is so I can get rid of this helper line and I can of course reset the logo rotation so I'll select the size and position and set the rotation to zero degrees and now it's just a matter of copying this shape over the original logo I will maybe uh, set the colors for the logo to gray so I'll open the format colors and set this uh, light gray preset just so I can better see my newly copied shapes and I will just rotate it to kind of match the rotation of this shape then I will duplicate it and rotate it again and you can immediately see that this one is just a tiny bit smaller and I believe that the third one will be even even smaller so if I move it over the logo shape you can see I should resize it to a little bit smaller size and I will probably zoom in just so I can see it better okay 
should probably also resize it to be to be a little bit wider and the bottom line should be like a straight line okay I think I'm, I'm getting there so this this look is great so I will select those three shapes copy paste those I have to group those before I flip those because I, if I would uh, select flip vertical or horizontal right now you can see it's kind of mess so I have to first group it inside the group then I can flip it and then I can ungroup it and move it to the right spot you know the ungrouping is optional but since I will be setting the colors later on it's a probably a good idea I will zoom in and the only part which is missing is this you know kind of head of the peacock and for this I believe I should uh, use a custom shape as well so what I will do is I will insert a new shape basically being this free form shape tool I will start around here this is like the straight line here is a, like a curved maybe I should I could uh, do it from this I will close the shape I will increase the transparency of the fill just so I can see what's below I may just hide this shape because it's just getting in our way so I'll select the selection pane and just hide it for now then I will right click on this shape and select edit points and this should be like around it and this should be around it as well so I'll set the handles for the bottom part like this okay I believe that this should be fine let's see how it looks like when we you know set all the colors and fills and outlines okay so I'll select all those shapes and basically move everything to the right side like this I will reset the colors for the logo itself so format reset picture and I will just sample the fill colors so this first one shape fill I will use the eyedropper tool to sample the yellow one then I will sample the orange red the violet one and I'm still using the eyedropper tool so shape fill eyedropper blue one and the last one is the green one for all those shapes including the head I should set the outline to no outline and the head should be white so I will select white but the transparency is, is still being kept so I have to go to more fill colors and make sure that the transparency is set to 0% okay so that's the head and the only missing part is the text below fortunately there is a font which is uh, very similar to this one so if I select insert new text box and I type in NBC there is a font called motor oil 1937 m54 i will put the link in the description right now i'll just increase the size of the text to kind of match the logo size which is just around like this move it below our shapes and voila we have a nice looking nbc logo done in almost no time in microsoft powerpoint and that's it that's how you create the nbc logo thanks for watching